What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Great question from my boy, Josh, man. Shout out to Crawford. Shout out to JC. Joshua Crawford, man, a um, few hours ago, dropped a comment. Um, and I just thought it'd be, it'd be super powerful to, to, to just share this with everyone. Um, basic stuff, you guys, I'm telling you, man, you got so many gurus that try to teach certain things. Just people in general, just people, forget about the word guru, forget about that term. I mean, I think it's stupid or title or whatever the hell you want to call it. I mean, people are just teaching stuff. That's all it is, man. Now, if you're teaching unethical stuff or if you're teaching stuff that is not right at all, and you're charging a lot of money, it's like, dude, you're a freaking crook. But whatever you're teaching, we all have something to teach, man. You don't have to be the smartest person to teach something like at all. Like you could put together any simple tutorial teaching someone how to yarn and sell it for $19.99. Like people will buy it. 20 bucks, four videos teaching people how to yarn or not yarn. freaking yarn. I'm talking about yarn, you know, the freaking yarn, like you net are you net you freaking knit you know blankets and stuff like that yarn right um people could teach anything man people could teach anything and i just truly believe that there is opportunity um and i just truly believe i found my niche in the basics in teaching people the basics like that's what i do with my social media agency i teach people the basics um and then it grows in grows grows from there right the the value ladder you have to have that value ladder in place man um and so when it comes to facebook's I, facebook ads i totally believe a lot of people gurus whatever you want to call it a lot of a pe lot of people you know teaching leave out the basics and i'm like dude like this right here that's why I shout out to my boy joshua because this is such a basic basic question and it's such a powerful question it's such an important question it's such a question that tons of people have on their mind because they're just beginning they haven't you know ran a facebook ad although you've been watching 50 million videos on how to run a facebook ad other people haven't right they're just getting into it just like you have shout out to josh looks like a younger you know younger kid it's like dude he's probably just getting started and that's and that's super cool you're definitely asking the right person man so shout out to josh i love teaching the basics this right here is basic and this is super powerful man um I'm trying to run a regular Facebook ad. I'm a beginner. Don't know anything, you know, about landing pages or pixels. So let's start, let's start regular Facebook ad. Let's start there first. All right. I'm going to take you guys through and I'm going to break this down into three to four parts. Okay. This is the page right here. You want to, you want to bookmark. And the way you get here is just come to your Facebook page. Um, let's go to your Facebook page. And all you're going to do is up here at the top, click on create, and then you're going to hit the drop down and you're going to hit, you're going to click on add. If you guys are on Instagram, man, follow me on Instagram, inspired digital, or you can follow me here too, but Instagram, and then also subscribe here. Cause this is where I'm dropping all my content, all my value, all my videos, everything I'm doing goes on to YouTube. Um, Facebook ads is just, or Facebook is just for Facebook ads. And then if anything, sometimes I'll share video over here. Um, I'll share video to my, to my, my, I'll share my YouTube video to my Facebook page. I'll share my YouTube video to my LinkedIn page. I'll share my YouTube video to my Twitter page. I'll share my YouTube video to my Pinterest page. I'll share my YouTube video through an email broadcast or through an email sequence as well. Right. But all these platforms are 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 locked and loaded. Um, but over here, all you're gonna do is click on create and click on add right there. Okay. That's gonna bring you to this 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 back end ads manager. Bookmark this part this page right here for sure. Um, and this is where it starts, man. This is the basics. This is freaking FB ads for beginners. That's the link that you see in my description. I'm literally just starting a little training, a little training squad, uh, you know, a squad of, of, a, of a bunch of protégés that I can really just, you know, as I advance and as I keep learning, I'm investing thousands of dollars um, in education, in Facebook advertising, as far as learning from the best of the best, right? I'm actually investing in training and courses and coaching at this very moment you know march 2020 
and so that's why there's i'm i'm way far from my mentors and then there's people that are also a few steps behind me so that's what i'm saying man you don't have to be the harvard professor you could be a teacher at the at the local community college and still provide a tremendous amount of value to an individual from what you could what you could teach right like knowledge comes in all shapes and forms man whatever the heck you want to teach other people want to learn and and that's why when it comes to building it online and now turning it into an actual business you just want to make sure that there's a demand for that you want to make sure that okay yeah people want to learn it but is there a a, a shitload of people that want to learn it and and in learning it what does it mean to them to them what does it mean for them to learn it like a business owner what does it mean for him to learn facebook ads shit dude it, it means the world for a husband and wife going through a divorce, what does it mean to invest in therapy or coaching or um, counseling? What would that investment be, right? Like, what's it worth? That's how you want to kind of break stuff down, dude. What's it worth, you know, to invest and, and, and start learning this stuff, right? Because I'm telling you, man, this is basic stuff. This is something you guys all need to be, all need to be learning. And it's like, Facebook ads is one thing. If you're new, FB ads for beginners, let me take you under my wing. That link is in the description. But whether you're learning this for yourself and you're, and you're investing in yourself or you're investing in yourself to bring value to others, I'm both. I'm investing in myself and, and I constantly keep learning um, so I can bring value to my clients and so I can bring value to myself, right? Because I have products. I'm trying to get the clients. I got to get them first, right? So shit, it starts with me, right? It starts with me. It starts with you, right? You got to better yourself. You have to invest in yourself. You have to make it happen. That's how you're going to find that client. That's how you're going to be able to use your experience and be like, hey, shit, it worked for me. I'm going to do the same thing for you, right? And that's that's a lot of that, a lot of that you know, comes down to how I even present to clients. I'm like, dude, look at this page. Does it look a little better than yours? Look at my page. Does it look a little better than yours? I mean, just these little basics, you guys, I'm telling you, man, this is where it starts. So bookmark this page, okay? Um, depending on what industry you're in, this special ad category, this was, ad this was added at the end of 2019. If you're not complying with this, then your ads will be disapproved. But if you're in any of these three categories, um, housing, employment, credit, obviously uh, comply and just check that box. But to answer his question, let's go back to, to my boy, Josh. Um, I'm just trying to run regular Facebook ads. Okay, so what is a regular Facebook ad? Let's start there, man. What is a regular Facebook ad? I mean, shit, man, at the end of the day, I truly believe that no matter what type of business you have, and that's why I shout out to, shout out to Deborah. I was on a strategy call with her yesterday and I'm like, dude, every business is the same when it comes to marketing. We're all looking for attention. You either need a lead, you need me to, you need to take me somewhere and you need to, you need to get me to click on, on something. Um, let me go back. Um, you got to You got to You you're trying to get me to click on something to opt in, right? You're looking to capture that lead, right? Or you're looking to have me do that and schedule an appointment, right? This could be this could be an a, a, an appointment page where you're driving traffic to a page to schedule an appointment. Same thing, man. How many of us? take appointments. All of us do. That's what I'm saying. Every business is the same. Chiropractor, they need appointments. Dentists, they need appointments. Yoga, gym, they need, they need appointments. They need people coming into the class. Real estate agent, you need appointments. Loan originator, you need appointments. You work at the bank, you need appointments. Like Everything consists of a lead, grabbing a lead, or getting that person to schedule an appointment, or making a sell. Bottom line, dude, that, that that it's very black and white. That's kind of all there is to it. Now, if you're talking brand awareness and 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 personal branding and going out there and putting 50 posts up a day on 50 different platforms, okay, you better have a ton of content because that's going to take a lot. And you and, and you're you're glued to your phone all damn day, right? Because you're posting all damn day on 50 different platforms all damn day. Who got time for that, Gary V, right? It's like, dude, if, if you're not doing that, then for sure, you're, you're simply 
you're simply doing this. You're, you're driving traffic and it's going to be for one of those things, capturing a lead, um, um, making a sell or, or even capturing a lead, AKA scheduling an appointment. Okay. Anything else aside of that, dude, to run a Facebook ad would be, would be some type of brand awareness. You're either going to, you're either going to promote your brand organically 50 times a day, 50 different platforms, or you're going to run Facebook ads for maybe brand awareness, reach, or, 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 or you can even, you can even do an engagement, but at the same time, you guys, that's like, you better have some money. Like you, this is for an, a, a, a business that's coming into Facebook ads that actually have, you know, a, a few bucks to spend because not many even focus on brand awareness or reach or even engagement. Because again, nine out of 10 of us, no matter what type of business you're building is looking for that lead. You're looking for that sell. You're looking for that scheduled appointment. So if that's the case, that's either traffic, conversions, or lead generation. So it just comes down to what is a regular Facebook ad, Josh? You know what I mean? What are you trying to do? That's the objective. This is where it starts. That's why this, this is what I call the three pillars, campaign, ad set, ad, okay? Um. And so this is where it all begins, man. Bookmark this page. I truly believe that this this part right here. I probably spent an hour, I probably spent a year and a half going with the wrong objectives on different campaigns and ads, um, because most people that I that I was learning from weren't even teaching these basics. It's like, dude, here's the deal, Josh. Most likely, you're trying to do one of those one of those three things. What was it? Get a lead, get an appointment, or make a sell, right? Are you trying to do are you trying to do one of those three things? If you are, here is a regular Facebook ad to me. Okay. A regular Facebook ad to me would be either traffic or conversions. Bottom line. Okay. I'm running traffic to a landing page, right? So my Facebook pixel, because he also had that question. So we'll we'll address that. But I'm running traffic ads. I'm running traffic. Look, it says right here. Send more people to a destination such as a website. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm telling Facebook. Hey, man, here's 10 bucks a day. Here's five bucks a day. Here's 20 bucks a day. Drive traffic to my page. And when you're driving this traffic to the page, make sure your Facebook pixel is embedded and make sure that Facebook pixel is tracking everything. Okay. Now, what, 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 what is there to track on this? People who landed here. So what I, what I want Facebook to do is I want Facebook to create a custom audience of people who viewed the page. And so that's a, that's a custom audience. So make sure you have a custom audience set up. In fact, stay to the end of this video and you'll see, you'll see um, a video come up. That's I'm walking you through how to set up a custom audience. And if you're new to Facebook, man, Facebook ads, make sure you're on my VIP list, right? I'm going to have a ton of training coming out, coming out of that, coming out of that list. FBAdsforbeginners.com. That link is pinned at the bottom, but stay to the end. You're going to see custom audiences because that's what's super important is that, yeah, I'm going to run a traffic ad to this page. It's one page. It's not a website. Okay. So we're not running it to a website. And that's another thing that Josh brought up was landing pages. If you're looking to capture a lead, schedule an appointment or make a sell, Nine out of 10 times, it's going to a landing page. Okay, one page, one page. And this doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what business you're in. One page, all right? I'm driving traffic, I'm capturing the data of people who, now not name and number, there's privacy law, right? Facebook's not, it's not a lead ad. Facebook's not gonna give you freaking, you know, it was John Smith, here's his phone number, here's his address. No, but the, what they're doing is Facebook is gonna categorize all this data and put all this data into what they call a custom audience, but you have to set it up. So watch that video at the end of this one. That's setting up your Facebook custom audience. That's number one, okay? Number one is installing the pixel. And then number two is, is making sure that you have a, a custom audience set up because here's what's gonna happen. As people, let's go to, a, let's, go, let's go look at some random ads. As people scroll through the newsfeed and they come across a sponsored ad, okay? Here's what's going to happen. There's your learn more button. There's your image. There's your text. There's a link to the business page. I click on learn more. Okay. 
this person could be running Samsung. They could be running for what I'm thinking. It could be brand awareness. See, that's what I'm saying. If you're a little guy like me, then you're not really running brand awareness or reach. Samsung being a freaking multi-billion dollar company, right? Samsung, they could easily, that ad could easily be a brand awareness or a reach. Now, why would they even spend money on that? Because they have the money. Bottom line, because they have the money. That, that, that's why they would be running a brand awareness or a reach just to get the brand out, just to get the name out. Whether people click, whether they buy, it doesn't even matter. That's not what we're optimizing for. We're telling Facebook, hey man, just get people aware of our name. And, and, and that could be a brand awareness. But us little guys, we're not focused on that because we are more of the direct marketer and the direct response type of marketer where what I'm doing is I'm putting an offer in someone's face right now and I want them to click now. Like there's no awareness. There's no freaking, let me, you know, butter you up. I'm buttering you up through other content that you're seeing me from, that you're following me from, right? I'm, I'm, I'm creating content in, the, in these other places, which is creating that whole authority figure for me, right? But as far as my ad, as far as what that person's seen, and again, that person could be seeing my fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh ad by this time right? Because I've been creating custom audiences and retargeting them. So there's a lot that goes into it, man. There's a lot that goes into it, but let's just keep it on this one. These guys could be doing a brand awareness or a reach, but here's where they, they take me. When I come to their, when I click on learn more and I come to their full blown website, it's not really a landing page. A website has multiple buttons. A, a website has all this shit going on. That's a website. So any of you guys watching this, you guys got this. That's your website, right? But your landing page, your landing page to us little guys, we're not driving traffic to a page like this at all. We're not driving traffic to a, to a website like this at all because we ain't got the budget to mess around. We're running paid ads directly to a page like this where there's only one button, only one call to action, and that's to opt in. That's it. Not to come to my site and browse. Like ain't nobody ain't got, no, no, I ain't got money to have you just come to my site and browse. Like I need to take you directly to what I'm, what I'm trying to, trying to share with you. Right. But these guys, they're taking me to a web, they're taking me to a website. Now here's the thing. At least they're Facebook pixeling me. Now, if they're smart, which I would think they're smart, I mean, Samsung, right? If they're smart, they're putting me in a custom audience, right? Because now they have my IP. Now Facebook's the pixels tracking me, right? So what these guys done is if they're smart, which I know they are, now I'm now in a custom audience. I'm in a custom audience of people who clicked. I'm, on, I'm in a custom audience of people who viewed the page. Now what these guys can do next, next week, what they can do tomorrow, what they can do right away, what they can do the following ad is they can retarget that custom audience with traffic, or they can now retarget that custom audience with conversions. And rather than taking that person to maybe this website, maybe they take me, when I see the next ad, look, because I click devices and they're Facebook pixeling my every move, look at this up here in the top right. They're Facebook pixeling my every move. Here's what's gonna happen next. Because I'm clicking through, and this is for you e-commerce people, man. So those, those of you that have Shopify stores, um, yeah, any type of online physical product store, this is what you need to be doing. You need to be putting that Facebook pixel on every single page because here's the, here's, here's the power. Here, here, here's how, how powerful this could be. Let me, let me close this out real quick. They know exactly where I'm going, right? I'm coming over here. I'm clicking on this Galaxy S20. They know exactly what I'm doing. So what these smart, smart folks would do at Samsung is now I'm in a custom audience. Now I'm in a, actually look, actually here we go. Okay, now, now it lit up. Look, so their pixel is tracking the view. If these, if these dudes were smart, what I'm gonna see next in my newsfeed is a link where it says buy now. Instead of learn more, the damn thing's gonna say buy now. And it's gonna take me straight here. That's retargeting at its finest. That's retargeting, and that would be conversions, okay? So that would be conversions. Now, let's say they ran 
brand awareness. They ran reach. They ran traffic. Let's say they ran a few weeks or let's say, let's say they ran a few hundred under those ones, right? To get people to click, come to the site, browse around, and then create a custom audience of all those people who landed on a specific product. And then again, the following ad would be conversions, retargeting all those people, now getting them to buy. That right there is what it's all about, Josh. That's what, it, that's what it's all about, man. Um, every single business owner wants to run a Facebook ad now and get a lead today. Like sometimes it works that way. Sometimes it doesn't like Facebook. What they want you to do is they, they need what it's not that they want you. They need to, they need to warm up the pixel. You're coming over here and saying, okay, Facebook, here's my audience. Here's my demographics. Here's the targeting. Here's my message. Who's to say that's even a good message. It's you on a cell phone video, right? Like, or you're saying, here's my image and you're bringing all this to the table and you're saying, okay, Facebook, do your thing or you're saying google or you're saying tv commercial or you're saying rate or you're saying radio ad or you're saying freaking newspaper freaking ad like dude what what are you guys doing for marketing like whatever you could be doing it's like okay in this case online in front of people audience but at the same time who's to say that that audience just because you know that demographic who's to say they're going to they're going to resonate with you like and and how are you going to base that judgment in two hours of turning on an ad like how like like how unless unless you have a crazy crazy budget and you're putting let's just say 100 bucks a day then you'll get a ton of let's say 20 bucks a day 20 25 bucks a day and you get a ton of data fast you can do that but there's so many people that mickey mouse it and they'll start at super small budgets three bucks a day one chick said she was spending one one dollar a day and i'm like and i'm like dude like really like and then she's wondering why she's not capturing leads. I'm like, really? Like, so everyone's different, man. But at the same time, we all have the same, nine out, nine out of 10 of us have the same objective, man. And again, as to capture a lead, get a, a scheduled appointment or make a sell and, and, and to warm, warm up the pixel, to start gathering data, to start letting Facebook gather, gather data of who is landing where. That's what you want to invest a little money up front in doing is is running is running some traffic ads not brand awareness or reach so forget about that it's not going to be brand awareness or reach it's going to be traffic you can run traffic um and and again if it's for any of those three reasons you're taking them to a landing page okay you're not taking them to a website i guess you can based on what i just told you right if you're taking them to a website make sure your pixel is tracking everything and just create custom audiences around everyone who's clicking on anything right on that website because there's 50 million pages and it's a full blown website. Your pixel has to be tracking everything. And then you just create custom audiences of, of the most popular product. And then, and then, and then, and then that's all from traffic. And then after you, you've gathered a, a decent custom audience, you go conversions. Okay. You go conversions. That's where the money's at. You guys, that's where the money's at. Okay. It's not, it's not an engagement when, when you run an engagement ad, those are the posts that you see, the ads that you see. Let's see if we can find one. Those are the ads that you see that have a ton of engagement. I mean, it has, you know, freaking 100 shares. Look, this, this perfect example. Perfect example. Secure the bag. Here's a sponsored ad. Here's the image, right? And here, here are the numbers. Absolutely ridiculous numbers. That right there is an engagement ad, okay? That's an engagement ad. And again, for those of you that have the money, for those of you that want to spend and you just want, you know, to spend more than really you need to upfront, then engagement, go with an engagement and get these, get these sexy ass numbers. Over 2000 likes, 106 comments, 457 shares. That's crazy, right? That's absolute social proof. And, and those numbers like that, people like to see. People like to see those types of numbers. Um, and, 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 and if I had the extra hundred bucks or extra couple hundred to make that happen, and, and, and I just had, let's just say, you know, whatever to spend per month, I would do that. I would do that. I'd go engagement, run that for a couple weeks. Cause this right here, 2000 likes, again, it's all about your budget. If you're spending a hundred bucks a day, three days, 
there's 300, boom, you'd have those types of numbers. But if you're spending five bucks a day, dude, and you're trying to run it for four days, come on. I speak to people, dude, that spend $30 on an ad. They're selling a $3,000 product, but they're spending, or they, they make 3,000 per deal, but they're spending 300, but, 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 but they're spending 30 bucks. But they're spending 30 bucks and in, in trying to assess, you know, data from, from a, a return. They're trying to justify not seeing a return on investment. I'm like, dude, you spent 20 bucks. Like, what the hell? Those small numbers aren't going to make these big numbers happen. You got to spend, you got to spend a couple hundred to make these big numbers happen. But again, there's, there's benefits in doing that too. Number one, you, you have that big number, which is social proof. All these shares, I look at this ad, I'm like, damn, dude, these people are really crushing it. And then what these people can also do is create custom audiences around everyone who's engaging. So all these people who actually clicked, who actually commented, who actually shared, they're also all in a custom audience that these guys can then turn around and run conversion ads for. Why conversion ads? Because damn well, they got something to sell. Or they're looking to schedule an appointment or they're looking to capture a lead. Bottom line. Okay. So you could go engagement if you had the extra, you know, dollars. If not, go straight traffic, man. Go straight traffic. Um, go straight conversions. Test, test one, one, go, go traffic and then run conversions at the same time. Go 10 bucks a day traffic, 10 bucks a day conversions, run that for a few days and then assess it from there. If anything, traffic for the, for the first couple of weeks would probably be good because that's driving traffic to the landing page. That's that again, Facebook needs to know, as I was trying to mention earlier, just because you have all this stuff and you're bringing it to the table, Facebook still has to find your audience. They still have to find the people who actually like you. Right. So it's like, how, how, how does Facebook even know who likes you yet? Right. You're putting out selfie video, which is the best. And you have your own audience out there. Let give Facebook a few days to freaking find it. You know what I mean? So a lot of the times, even Facebook will tell you to, to start with traffic, start with traffic, just so you can get the pixel warmed up. And just so Facebook can start seeing, okay, these are the type of people that are viewing it. Facebook system, dude, operates like a, it's a machine, as you know. It's a freaking robot. It's AI. It's a freaking machine. They operate. It operates fast, man. It operates fast. And once Facebook, after a few days, once Facebook, once that pixel starts picking up a certain type of person that is is landing here, Facebook ends up finding you millions of millions more of them. Um, and so that happens. That happens in the beginning with traffic, driving traffic, and then once you have that audience. Then and, and once that pixel has been used a few times, it's conversions, okay? But here's the thing with conversions. With conversions, you, you have to have your custom audiences set up, and you also have to have a custom conversion set up, okay? So go into my playlist. There's, there's an FB Ads for Beginners playlist. Subscribe to my email list. It's right in the description and it's also pinned fbadsforbeginners.com. I'll send you, I'll send you a video on, on the conversions. Okay. Because that's super important for conversions. If you're looking to capture a lead, schedule an appointment or make a sale, that is conversions. Okay. That is conversions. Drive valuable actions on your website. That's a valuable action, an opt-in, right? So that's, that's conversions. But to do that, you need to set up a custom conversion and that custom conversion is set up around the thank you page. So for example, whether I'm opting into something, okay, whether I'm opting into something or whether I'm buying something, I'm coming over here, I'm hitting this blue button to opt in. I could be coming here and buying the Samsung, adding to cart, entering my check, my entering my credit card number and then hitting buy. And then I go to a confirmation page. When you're running conversion ads, everything, everything is about that confirmation page. Okay. So here's what you have to do. This is what you have to do. Okay. So again, whether you're opting in or buying something or whether they're doing that on your, on your page, right? Here's, here's what it's all about. This person opts in and they're, and they're brought to a thank you page. This is my confirmation page, right? So I created all this. I did all this through through um, through freaking um, through Kartra, 
And this is a simple, simple thank you page, man. It's great to connect with you. Check your emails and stay in touch. I have a ton of valuable, I have a ton of value coming your way. And three basic steps. And then this right here is a link to Kartra. Okay, so when you opt into mine, I'm, I'm simply, and so shout out to Joshua, man. I'm, I'm walking you through it this, th through this basic step right here, man. This page, Facebook ad traffic is sent to a page like this. And this is my affiliate link, which takes people to Kartra and allows them to set up a 14 day trial. And it takes them straight to the, to the landing page video that Kartra has up on their site, which is powerful, man, powerful. So what you gotta do, man, is for sure, for sure, back over here, revisit your objective. What is your objective? Is it one of those three or is it not one of those three? And rather than going brand awareness or reach, I would put out a video and just go video views. Because with video views, you can create custom audiences around people who viewed a certain percentage of it. People who watched 3% of it. People who watched the first 20 seconds of it. People who watched 50% of your video. You can start creating custom audiences around all these people who viewed your video. And that's powerful. You create custom audiences and then you retarget them. You run multiple ads in the future. You retarget those viewers with conversions. Okay? So that's kind of what you want to do, man, is, 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 is have, have a landing page software for sure. And if you don't have a landing page software, if you have a Shopify store or something like that, okay, well then start, it, it's, it comes down to the content. Obviously, what type, of, what type of content do you plan on putting out? Are you putting out images? With images, what I would do if I were you, man, anyone putting out images, I would brand yourself with the image. Like even though, even though it could, I mean, it's, that's why e-commerce is a little different, man, because you're dealing with physical products and sometimes, I mean, it's just a physical product, right? Like a mug, like it's, it's just a mug. Like how can I brand that, right? Like, but, but at the same time, so it just depends on what you're selling also, man, because that's going to, your content, what you put out and how you're able to put it out is, is going to make the difference. That's, that's what, that's the top of the funnel. Your content is the top of the funnel. So my content over here, my top of the funnel over here is YouTube. What am I doing? Long form tutorial videos, teaching you some shit, right? Teaching you and trying to stay on topic of social media marketing, Facebook advertising and, and, and making money online. Right. Um, and so that's my content. And so I'm putting it here. So it just comes down to your content, man, your content, and what you're trying to sell and what you're trying to sell is going to really come down to what a regular Facebook ad is to you. I would do video for sure. Like I would do video, man. If you're, if you're personal branding yourself in any kind of way, it's video, it's video views. And so video Facebook ad, this is where it would go. Okay. Video Facebook ad, any other, and, and also that same video, I would also park it over here on YouTube. And, and, and if you're doing video on your cell phone, for Facebook and for YouTube, always hold the phone horizontal, all right? Always hold the phone horizontal, not vertical. This is for Instagram, but hold the phone horizontal for YouTube and for Facebook uh, video. But um, that's a great way to, that, that could be your regular ad right there, man. That could be your regular ad is video views, and you're literally creating custom audiences around every single video and, and around different viewers of those videos and then just retargeting with conversions 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 okay so lead generation is if you don't have a landing page so if you don't have a landing page you can use lead generation facebook provides a form um and you can capture leads that way only reason why i don't do it that way is because then i have to export that lead off of facebook and then i have to import it into my into my email autoresponder which i don't want to do or you can connect it to a third party email autoresponder, which I don't want to do. Everything I do is all in one. It's in Kartra. So I just stick with, I just stick with, with traffic conversions and video views, man. That's what I do. I don't do, I don't do, I don't do, I don't do anything else. I don't click on any of these other ones, traffic conversions, video views. And, and, and that's, and that's, that's kind of get that, that gets the job done, man. So, um, when you set up the ad, it's in this third section over here, Joshua, in step three in the ad. When you set up that ad, and I'll end it here. When you set up that ad, 
the link to your landing page, okay? The link to your landing page is what goes in the call to action. So it's this link right here. I'm looking to drive traffic, right? I'm running a traffic ad. I'm run, looking to drive traffic to this page right here. So as I come over here and I add my image, what I do is I put that ad post, whatever you want to call it. I put that on the business page first. Okay. Whether it's an image or a video, I'll put it on the business page first. And then when I get over here, I'll come over here and rather than, um, 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 where did it go? Um, normally I would say use existing and, and you would just click on use existing post and you could just use, use the existing one. But here down here is what I wanted to show you. This is the call to action button. So you'll see this, this is the third step, right? Sign up, get quote, get offer, download, learn more, subscribe, book now, apply now. These are all the call to actions. The most, the most clicked on, and this is a Facebook stat, is learn more. That's the most clicked on. But again, you know, based on your business, what are you trying to do? You know, what are you selling and what are you trying to get them to do? Um, learn more is always the best. And so when you put that learn more button, this is where the link is going to go. You can actually put it right here as well. This is this is the display link. This is the this, the display link, which is not not where you want to put like the you like the long URL. Like you want to customize. Get like what I would do right here is I would put inspireddigital.com. That's the actual domain that forwards to this one. Okay, that's what you want to put right there. Okay. So, and remember the whole objective over here. Let's go back. That was lead generation. That's why it wasn't giving me the link form. Let's go back under traffic. So now we're under traffic and let's click on links over here. So over here, this is where you could put the long URL, the ugly one. You could totally put that one right over here. That's why it wasn't showing use existing because I was under lead generation. How come you guys didn't tell me that, man? Okay, so th this is where it's at. So I'll post that video, that image, that ad, all of it goes on the business page first. And then I'll come over here and use existing posts. And just make sure you're in the right page, right? Make sure you're right, the right account is there. Come over here, select post, and then you can select that post on the page. But down here, actually, let me just select one. Okay, so down here, okay, so right here, you'll see the call to action button right here. So if I change that, this is where my URL would go. That long, ugly one, it's okay because it's not gonna, it's not gonna show. Um, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna show. Yeah, there's already a learn more button on that, so I can't change that and I don't even have access to that account and because the Instagram and the Facebook page is mixed matching. So I'm just showing you this as an example, but um, that's where it would go. That's where your URL would go. Okay. So that's a traffic ad, taking them to that landing page, creating a custom audience, retargeting them, retargeting them with conversions. And that's what I was going to show you. That's what I was going to show you. Let me end it here. As someone comes over here and they opt in your custom conversion is all around this page. And I might have I might have mentioned that, but if in case I that's what I meant to mention. This URL is what you're gonna come in and just again go to my playlist to 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 find that video custom conversions, how to set up a custom conversion. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here, click all tools, and click on custom conversions. Okay, and you're gonna create a custom conversion around the thank you page. Facebook doesn't want to know your goal, they want to know your ultimate goal. Your goal is to get people traffic to the landing page. Your ultimate goal is to get people here. That's the ultimate goal. And how do they get here? They fill out the damn, fill out the damn form. That's it. Facebook wants to know when it comes to conversions, they want to know the confirmation page. They want to know the thank you page. Create a custom conversion around this URL. Okay. 
and run conversion ads. Okay, that's it, you guys. So watch that video. It's coming up here. That's custom audiences. Go to that playlist and you'll see custom conversions. That's where I'm taking you in this bad boy right here and setting up that custom conversion. All right, you guys, I'll see you on the next video. Subscribe, smash the bell for notifications. Drop me a comment below. See ya.